Hello, we are 911 and our team ID is SG2001. I am Liu Shankinen and I am Chua Rei Kai. We are both from Singapore. My robotics or RoboCup experience is RCAP Co-Space Autonomous Driving Challenge 2021 U12. And I've also participated in the and in that event, but I have also participated in RCAP Cold Space Rescue First Steps. The mission of the Cold Space Challenge we participated in was reaching the end of the map. The problems we investigated was both our programs color sensors did not work, and there were places where our color sensors were useful, but we were not able to use them. The methods that we used to solve these problems were timers instead of color sensors. The result of using timers instead of color sensors was even though the timers were not as efficient as the color sensors would have been, we still managed to make the code work and ended a few seconds earlier than if we had not used sensors at all. The AI algorithm that we that we used is I asked sensors to maneuver through map and timers. I using I asked sensors to maneuver through the map and timers, we were able to stay on track most of the time and was able to turn at the time we wanted the robot to turn. Debugging. We were not able to use color sensors, so we had to use timers instead of them. And we were still able to turn not as effectively, but we, are, we were still able to turn the robot where we wanted it to turn. Conclusion and further work. Result. We were able to reach the end without hitting the one minute mark. If we were asked to solve the challenge again, how would we improve our strategy? We would try to use ultrasonic sensors instead of just IR and timers. Our learning experience was... CoSpace taught us that coding is more than just fun and games. It can be used in real life situations. We have, we have gained more knowledge on coding through this competition too. We would like to share that at times you might feel like you want to give up, but if you keep on trying, you will achieve great things. Thank you for listening to our presentation.